Hey guys, Alex here. Welcome to another video. And if you are a Samsung user, today's video is for you because I'm going to go over some really cool Samsung exclusive features that's going to make all your friends jealous because they don't have a Samsung and they don't got these cool features. So let's get right into it. All right, so let's kick things off with the first feature, which is of course the S Pen. So with your Samsung phone, you get the S Pen and this just brings so much awesome functionality to your new phone. For instance, one of my favorite features is the ability to take quick notes directly on your lock screen without having to even go into your phone. So maybe you're in a rush and you need to quickly jot something down. Instead of having to unlock your phone, you can write directly on your lock screen. So maybe someone is giving you a phone number so you can quickly start writing down the phone number and maybe their name and you can just easily save this note for later. Just tap save and it will save it directly to your Samsung notes and they can do so much more. If I just tap on my pen, it will unlock my phone and go directly into my home screen. I can bring up my action center and from here I have a whole lot of functions. I can use a magnifying glass. I can use smart select to take screenshots. I can even translate things directly from here. And it is just so convenient. There are so many cool features with this S Pen that take your phone to a whole nother level. Now I did make a separate video of some of the cool things the S Pen can do. So if you're interested, I'll leave it linked down in the description below. So be sure to check that out. The next awesome Samsung exclusive feature is the Samsung internet browser. Now I myself have been using Chrome for a very long time, but the Samsung internet browser is actually really capable and has some really cool features that even the Chrome browser can't compete with. For example, one of those features is that the Samsung browser has a really powerful ad blocker. So I've opened up the same page on both the Samsung browser and the Chrome browser. So this right here is Chrome. And let's say we go into this page right here, iPhone 15 pro rumors. When we go here, you can see that there's a bunch of ads popping up. We got an ad up here. Uh, we got an ad that shows up here. There's an ad down here. And if we're scrolling through the page, there's an ad down here. Now, if we go back to the Samsung browser and then we go to the same page, iPhone 15 Pro Rumors, you can see that if we give it a second, there's no ads loading. There's, there's no ad banner up here. There's no ad down here. And if we're scrolling through here, there's no ads showing up anywhere on this page. The ad block on here is so powerful. I've tried this on a lot of websites. It doesn't block 100% of the ads, but it definitely does a much better job than the Chrome browser. And another awesome feature of the Samsung browser is its incognito mode. So it's actually called secret mode on Samsung. And you can see if I go into here, you can actually lock your secret mode with a password. So if you enable this, nobody can access your secret mode unless they have your password. Now you might be wondering why you would need this. Well, because on the Samsung browser, you can see down here that you can actually save pages pages and bookmarks in secret mode. So if you want to create, you know, a whole secret browser with all of your own tabs and saved bookmarks, you can do that and they will only be visible in secret mode and nobody will be able to access them and view them unless they know your password. I think this is such a cool feature that Chrome doesn't even come close to. So this is definitely by far a much better experience when it comes to incognito mode or secret mode on the Samsung browser. All right, guys, moving on to the next Samsung exclusive feature, and it is of course the edge panels. So you can see you have this little tab right here. And if you just drag it out, you can see it gives you this edge panel with a whole bunch of different applications. So maybe you don't have enough room on your home screen. You can add more stuff in here for quick access. And it goes a lot more beyond that because you can actually create multiple edge panels with different kinds of widgets. So you can see right here, I have my weather widget that shows me the temperature. It shows me whatever the rain index is and all this important information. Information. You can keep going. I also have my reminders on here. I don't need to leave my home screen. I don't need to enter any, enter any applications. Everything is just available to me right here. And it gets even more powerful than that because you can actually go into the settings of the edge panel by tapping on this gear icon here and you can add even more panels. So you see we have live messages. We can have our contacts on here. We can have the smart select for screenshots, tasks, tools, a compass. All, I don't know what that is, but all sorts of cool stuff. And even more, we can go to the Galaxy store and download even even more edge panels. So there's so, so many cool edge panels out there available. Some of these are paid, but there are a bunch of really good free ones. You can kind of just go through here and find some really cool ones, download them and add them to your edge panel. This is definitely a really cool feature. And honestly, it's the only excuse for a phone to ever have curved edges. It's more fragile. And if you ever happen to drop your phone and accidentally hit the edge, it can easily break your screen or crack your screen. So definitely flat panels are the way to go. But Samsung at least did something cool with it by adding these edge panels so that you can actually utilize that curved edge display. 
This next Samsung exclusive feature is absolutely incredible and more people need to be using it. And it is the ability to use your phone as a standalone computer. So you can hook it up to a monitor. You can connect peripherals like a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse to it and just use your phone as a computer and browse the internet, send emails, go to YouTube and just do your daily tasks. It is incredible. All you need to do is connect an HDMI cable to your phone or you can connect it wirelessly to a monitor if your monitor has those capabilities. And that's it, you're pretty much set up just like that. Your phone is now a standalone computer. It's an incredible feature that utilizes the amazing power of the chips on these modern phones. Unlike on iPhone where you have these amazing powerful bionic chips, but you can't do anything on an iPhone. You can't even multitask on an iPhone, let alone connect it to a monitor and use it on a computer. So what's the point of having these incredibly powerful chips if you can't even do anything with them? So that's really a huge plus for the Samsung ecosystem and definitely some flexing power you can use on your friends. All right, guys, now this next Samsung exclusive feature is also absolutely amazing. And it is the ability to create routines. And to show you what these are, let's say I tap into this low battery one right here. You can see that if the battery percentage of my phone is below 30, then my phone will automatically turn on power saving mode to conserve as much battery as possible, which is absolutely amazing. I don't need to do this manually. My phone will just trigger this automatically on its own. Then I have another routine here that will use secure Wi-Fi every time I leave my home. So I have my address in here and every time I leave, my phone will automatically turn on secure Wi-Fi and protect me from any public Wi-Fi vulnerabilities. It's absolutely amazing. All the routines you can create, you can create as many as you want. And there's just so many different options that we can uh, select to create routines is definitely an absolutely amazing feature that's available for Samsung phones. Now, another awesome Samsung feature that I use a lot more often than you would think is the ability to power share. And all you need to do is go into your quick settings, tap on this wireless power share button right here, and you can see it says ready to charge. And now I can put any device on the back of the Samsung phone and it will start wirelessly charging. And what's really cool is you can even do this with an iPhone. So you would think these wouldn't work together, but you can see if I tap if I put my iPhone on there, it starts charging. And if you think that the iPhone can do this back to the Samsung, you're definitely wrong. Samsung is definitely the better friend. And of course, you can charge your AirPods as well and pretty much any other device. You can just place it on the back of your phone and it will start charging. It is such a convenient feature, especially if you're running low on battery. You can just put it on the back of your phone and charge it that way. All right, guys, moving on to this next feature. This one is called Quick Share, and it is pretty much AirDrop for Android. So just like you can AirDrop files between your iPhone and your MacBook and your iPad, you can do the same thing with your Android Samsung device. So you can see I have my old Samsung S10 right here. I have my Samsung tablet right here. And I have this video that I took that is a little bit under a gigabyte in size. And now all we need to do to share this is tap on the share button right there and then go to Quick Share and then you'll see your devices right here. Now to send this file, all you need to do is just tap on this one, tap on that one, and you can see that it starts sending it. And there you go, just like that, these files are now transferred to both of these devices. If we scroll up, you can see that it is the same size as it was originally on my S23 Ultra. So there you go, now your iPhone friends have one less thing to gloat about because we pretty much have AirDrop 2. All right, guys, now this next Samsung feature is called pop-up windows. And I really like this one because if I'm ever, you know, browsing the web or reading emails or doing something and I'm busy and I'm also simultaneously texting somebody, instead of having to constantly jump between the applications to go and message somebody, all I need to do is go to my messaging app in my background tabs, tap on the icon up here and then open it in pop-up view. And now you can see that I have the messages window hovering up here. All the meanwhile, I can continue browsing on my web. So in here, I can just text this person back and say, thanks. And now I can tap on that blue line up here and minimize this window. And you can see it becomes this little floating icon up here. And I can continue working on or browsing the web and doing whatever I was doing. And it's just such a nice quality of life feature that allows you to just continue working on whatever you're working on. All the meanwhile, being able to do something else without having to jump between all these different apps. And the last Samsung exclusive feature to make all your friends jealous is of course all of the cool One UI gestures we get with our Samsung phones. So we can easily create multitasking windows by opening up an app and then swiping with two fingers from the bottom and then selecting another app from here. So if we're looking at recipes up here, maybe we wanna take down the notes of this recipe so we can open up our notes app, create a new note, and then just start writing down all the recipes into our personal note. We can even copy and paste from here and it's just a really convenient way to multitask. We can also enable 
one-handed mode because these phones are very large by swiping down from the middle like that and you can see our phone minimizes and now we can easily use our phone one-handed we can also do things like lift to wake so if our phone is just laying there on the table and it's turned off we don't have to tap on our phone or hit the lock button to look at any notifications all we need to do is just lift it and you can see it unlocks we can look at any notifications and then just put the phone back down we also have the ability to take a screenshot by just swiping our palm across the screen you can see it takes a screenshot we can even take pictures of ourselves without having to physically press the shutter button in the camera app because samsung one ui has a cool gesture where if you just wave at your camera it will do a little countdown and take a picture so you don't have to have your phone really close to you you can put it on a tripod far away Way, walk away wave at your phone and it will take a nice picture for you but there you go guys that's gonna do it for this video i hope you enjoyed and you got some cool things out of this video that you can flex on your friends with because there are a lot of cool things that we get on samsung exclusively but i hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe for future videos to come and i'll see you in the next one peace